Abortion continues to be a polarizing topic in Tennessee, and today state Democrats introduced their package pushing back on one of the strictest abortion bans in the country. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien breaks down their proposal. Hey, good evening. Democrats call the legislation the Fundamental Right to Reproductive Health Care Act. It completely removes any sort of punishment related to pregnancies. Today, we begin our journey to restore our rights in Tennessee. Today, Democrats revealed their plan to open up abortion access in our state. If passed, the package would make abortion legal again. This common sense legislation would re rewrite Tennessee law to explicitly prohibit state and local government officials from interfering with women's reproductive health care decisions. Some Republican leadership has signaled they're willing to change pieces of the law as it currently stands. Affirmative defense, I don't think it's reasonable to make a physician prove their innocence. Um, so let's go back to the normal way the judicial system is. You have to prove they're guilty. If it's my daughter or a loved one or your loved one who is on the table there, and their life is in danger. I don't want a physician having to think twice, second guess, call a lawyer to see uh, what they need to do. Though not every Republican agrees. It's the same defense that's used when somebody breaks into your house and you have to use force to uh, take care of them. Uh, and, you know, I. I support the law as it is now. The law as it is now does not make exceptions for rape and incest. If you are rape, you have to carry your rapist baby. Mm -hmm. If an uncle decides to take advantage of his 12-year-old niece, she has to carry their baby created from incest and rape. The chances of this entire package passing are very low, really slim to none. If any of it passes at all, it's more likely to be bits and pieces rather than the whole pie. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien.